He's a little gentleman, but can you get it on the ceiling? Can you elbow bump and ride at the same time? Sure, we can. Oh. <laughs> I feel like the heavy lifting is on me, honestly. Are you headed to the Peloton or where are you headed? I'll see you there. I gotta go get a space invader. I need more caffeine. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, see you there. Bye, Sam's. Good to see Sam wearing his mask out in public. Good morning. It is Monday. Today is supposed to be the day that uh, I get an iPhone. It's not coming today, though, I don't think. I'm not sure what's going on. Uh, so maybe I'll get that tomorrow, but in the meantime, uh, you know what I do have? There's a very clever space invader that's placed over here somewhere that Richard told me about that I'm gonna find, I'm gonna get, and then, uh, you know, we're just gonna enjoy the day. One last day filming exclusively on a Samsung, and uh, it'll be glorious. Where is this invader? You know he's around here somewhere. This is one I'm gonna give away as well because it's very clever, so, Cartier Dolage. And there's a very uh, timely and appropriate Space invader that's been put up in here. I just gotta find him. Where is this thing? Did I get taken down already? Now that that's done, the other thing I was going to hit on was that uh, masks are obligatory now in like a lot of the city. And I don't even know how much, to be honest, like they released this graphic uh, detailing what parts of the city you have to wear a mask all the time. So there are a lot of streets where we have to wear masks now all along the river from Monday, which is today. We have to wear we have to wear masks in a lot of the city and it's enough of the city where it's like, you know what, honestly, let's just wear them everywhere because one, you know, it's good to be conscientious of these things and respectful. And two, um, yeah, I have no idea where, where I have no idea where, where it's required and where it's not. So why why bother just taking them on and putting them off and getting your verbs mixed up? Prepositions are hard. Anyways, you know what solves prepositional struggles? Kathy. I too am sick of being sticky. I <laughs> think we'll know he was a sticky bad. Um, and we took it apart. Thank you, sir. I did cold coffee yesterday. It's it's cold enough outside, right? Mm. Although I wasn't sure how your followers would like you putting the vagina comment. What do you I think was, they thought? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> She's, her timing is impeccable. I, I was just about to say, I'm up here helping uh, install a chalkboard on the wall and sweating because we're right up against the ceiling above the waffle maker. And, and ceilings, as you all know, are hotter than floors. Unless the floor is lava. This could be your whole day of vlogging, just this. Yeah, basically, it's most like that's going to be the case. Yeah. You're getting really, really close to where my really hand is, at least. That's good. I think it's a good progress. You're gonna use this to tell people when bike rides are happening. Mm. So this is the uh, this is the random announcement board that we're doing. This is the random announcement board. Also because we just had extra. Is that the bathroom? bathroom? I'm really glad that I got to help with the the unnecessary component. Look at the look at our really safe uh, our really safe standing situation. It's like dog ears, but. But it still is closer to the wall. So the wall. Oh no! A bull! Handiwork. Gotta pay your respect somehow. Hungry stuff.
That's some good, that's some good uh, holding technique you got there, Hillary. Don't sneeze, Hillary. There we go. Sleepy Hillary. <laughs> Time to, uh, I got. I forgot that I have my weekly meeting with Brian today, so it's Monday, time for the weekly meeting. We can also do a mail call. I'm gonna head back to the chateau uh, because I also wanna sleep there. But the thing is, it's probably way hotter there than it is down here, and it is hot down here. It's supposed to be up in the upper 90s again today, upper 30s, if you're in the Celsius game, and uh, it's gonna be a toasty one, so uh, it's probably gonna be a little rip and hot. But what was nice yesterday, I rode around on my wheel pretty exclusively. Like I didn't uh, I didn't use the Metro as much. I actually came all the way back downtown yesterday by wheel and being above ground, despite being in the sun for a lot of it, having the wind going by and everything else, but it nice. So I'm gonna head back that way. Maybe I'll stay on the wheel for a little bit. We'll get a little bit of some uh, downtown Paris shots and uh, we'll see how Brian's doing. I got all the way here just to discover. I didn't bring my keys. So I don't have my key to get into um, my apartment. I think the guardian has an extra. She has a spare, but she's not answering. So um, I guess I'll just uh, hang out in the courtyard until she shows up and I can get my, and then get my key. Hey, anyway, I'm hot, I'm hot. Uh, I'm gonna have some, thankfully I have a little bit of food, so I'm gonna have some lunch and then I guess I'll have my conference call in the courtyard, which is gonna be annoying to some people, but uh, I don't know if I have any other option. And that's like, yeah. Thankfully I uh, ordered something because, well basically my fridge is just full of drinks at this point. So uh, yeah, and it's actually cooler in here than it is outside, just a little bit, because there's no sunlight. So there's no way that this area can get too hot. However, there's no ventilation. So as long as I leave the door open, it should be fine. You don't wanna to talk too loudly, disturb anybody in the hallway who's trying to stay you know, out of the heat. Whew, I'm, uh, I'm, I would say I'm embarrassed, but I'm not. It just, it, this kind of thing happens. The only downside is that I have a meeting uh, in, uh, I don't even know how long, how long is the, when's the meeting? Oh, in 45 minutes. So I got plenty of time. I could eat the, I need to print something. So my printer is available to me right now. Gilly got watered over the weekend, so I don't need to worry about watering Gilly. Really happy to have a new phone. Really was hoping that my SIM card for the new phone would be here. Uh, it's not, at least I didn't see it up there. So, unless that's what just came in the, hold on. It is. This guy's getting the SIM card. It's not at all what I expected. So anyways, crap. She has my key. If I can't get in, if I can't talk to her, shoot, I, no, I'll just have to come back here later. I don't want to go back on the Metro. I thought I was done with the Metro. Oh. Of course, the Guardian is not back. And uh, this guy, trying to print the return label for that case that was the wrong case. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna, I don't think this is gonna ship. 
don't know how good your bar scanner is, but probably not good enough to, you know, scan that. That was one of the main things I wanted to accomplish by coming back. So not only did I uh, not, not only am I not able to get into my room to get, you know, some work done. Um, the one thing I was able to do, print, gotta buy some more ink. <laughs> Anyways, it's hot. And uh, today's title might as well be Comedy of Errors. But uh, we gotta run so we can get to this meeting ASAP. And then uh, I'm gonna be dropping the next chapter. That was the other thing I was gonna do, process and drop the next chapter of the audiobook uh, for my patrons. So for those of you that are dying for the audiobook, chapter one is coming out. The prologue came out last week. Chapter one and one, chapter one and its commentary are coming out today. So they should be up. Oh, by the time you see this, it should already be out. And then got to do some votes for live streams because part of the reason that I wanted to make sure I got a SIM card for this was so that we could do live strolls from each of the prospective phones because we got to know how do they do live strolls? Do they handle them okay? We'll find out. See how do I control? I'm barely even late. Yeah, hey, hi. Are we on? Are we on camera? Well, not on so many cameras within cameras. Audiobook up. Oh, geez. Okay, now I'm fighting with the, the wind again. This phone does not like filtering out wind. I know that much. Slow down. It's a, just an extra windy day down here by the river. Managed to get the audiobook chapter up with the commentary. Hopefully, uh, it was done in a way that makes sense to most of you. And of course, I want to say thank you to my patron producer of the day, John Beatty. Appreciate that you're here. Thanks for making everything better and possible and amazing and keeping me cool in the midst of this heat wave. I uh, am going to go join my buddy Joshua. But we drink. We've been uh, over here for a beer for a while, so I'm gonna go have a beer with him and uh, I'll probably leave you there. We're gonna chill with some brews. Brews, bros, bros, brews, bros, brews, bros, bros. Oh man, a lot of people making poor life choices on the whole uh, street crossing thing. And I will see you bright and early tomorrow morning for, you know, more of this yokel madness that we have going on here in Paris. And hopefully, uh, you can hear me right now. If not, I'll be doing, I'll be re recording this later. <laughs> Anyways, uh, you know, see you tomorrow.